Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the fifth part of Sumo tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run the simulation in Sumo and extract your desired output from the simulation. So far, you've learned to create a tra traffic network file and its demand element file or root file. And, and now we are going to feed them into a, into a configuration file with XML format. Uh, and run the simulation uh, based on that configuration file. So config in the configuration file, we specify our inputs, uh, our outputs, and some uh, you know processing options that may uh, may be useful in uh, within the configure uh, within the simulation process. So let's get started. All right, now that you've learned how to create a network file, a root file, uh, I mean, the demand file, uh, you should be able to compile those files in terms of a configuration and run the simulation in Sumo GUI. Uh, as I discussed in part two, the configuration file with the Sumo CFG extension is an XML file that contains all necessary information uh, to run a simulation. You should specify the, the input files, the outputs, and some processing options in the configuration file. Uh, in the previous sections, we defined, I mean, we created this network file and saved it uh, in our working directory as a simple.net.xml file. And then we created some uh, additionals like these detectors. And again, we saved them as additional files. Uh, in the same working directory and then we created our demand files uh, such as the flows and roots uh, and saved them in uh, saved them as a root file in demand element section uh, over here uh, <clears throat> now let's have a look at those files uh, in the XML format uh, let's first open the uh, the network file in a notepad. Uh, as you can remember, first we define the customized edge type with ID 1, number of lanes of 2 and the speed limit of 20 meter per second. And then we created some edges with the that type uh, to create our network. For example, the edge with ID minus E0 starts from junction J1 and ends at junction J0 with priority of minus 1 and uh, uh, as I mentioned with edge type ID1. Uh, in the net edit you can find that edge, uh, I mean with ID e minus E0 over here, this is the edge minus E0 which starts at junction J0 and ends at junction J1. In the root file, let's open the root file. Uh, we defined uh, an external root uh, with ID R0 uh, which passes through these edges uh, and its color is yellow. And then we defined some flows, the first flow with ID F0 begin at time zero of simulation, which uh, starts at edge E0 and ends at uh, edge minus e e E3. And it lasts for one hour, uh, which generates uh, 1,800 vehicles per hour. The second flow with IDF1 begins at time zero, which passes through the uh, root R0 which we defined externally over here and it again it ends uh, I mean it lasts for one hour and it generates uh, 1800 vehicles per hour then we defined a couple of vehicles over here the first vehicle with ID V0 departs at time 0 and passes through the root R0 the second vehicle similarly with ID V1 departs at time 0 and passes through uh, root R0 uh, with the difference that we assign the stop to this vehicle which uh, forces the vehicle uh, to stop at this lane um, 
and which its start position is uh, uh, 7.06 meter and it, uh, its end position is 17.06 meter and its uh, stop duration is uh, 60 seconds and the third vehicle uh, with ID V2 departs at time 0 uh, and here we uh, defined its route as an internal route uh, which means that this vehicle passes through this route and we cannot use this route for other vehicles okay this is spe specifically defined for this uh, this vehicle <clears throat> Then we have uh, our additional file. In the additionals, uh, let's open it. We define two detectors, uh, as you can see over here. Uh, the first detector uh, is placed at this lane uh, with, uh, with the position of minus one, which means it is at the end of the, uh, of the end of the lane E101 and its frequency is 300 seconds which means that it generates uh, i mean it collects the information every 300 seconds and uh, it uh, stores the information uh, in this file with xml format okay now let's create uh, the configuration file to create the configuration file uh, come to your working directory and over here in uh, in in address bar uh, simply type cmd uh, you know uh, and as you can see a command line uh, window appears in the command line window you simply call sumo space dash dash uh, save dash template and then you type your configuration file name for example simple dot <coughs> sumo dot sumo cfg cfg yeah uh, well, uh, as you can see in your working directory, the configuration file will appear. Let's open it. Mm. Um, this uh, configuration file generates the whole parameter field with uh, default values. Okay, uh, you need to specify your uh, specific uh, options, your specific parameters yourself. Um, well, as you can see, most of these uh, parameters uh, are out of the scope of uh, this tutorial. So I'm going to delete uh, most of them. Uh, for example, here in the input file, we only need the network, the root and the additional files. Um, in the outputs, uh, uh, actually, there, as you can see, there are a bunch of outputs that you can extract from Sumo. Uh, you can um, learn about these uh, outputs uh, either from uh, over here, from the help section, or you can go to Sumo documentation um, website. <coughs> in the output section over here simulation output overview and here you can find the complete description about uh, the output types and their attributes their parameter definitions for example you can find the vehicle based information uh, sim you know information about uh, I mean, extracted from the induction loops, uh, uh, information about the values for edges or lanes, uh, you know, about junctions, vehicle-based information. For example, in vehicle-based information, you can find trip information. Uh, and as you can see, <clears throat> these outputs will be generated after the simulation, which... Uh, as you can see, uh, you know, uh, the outputs will generate the name of the vehicles uh, running through the network, uh, you know, the departure, its departure time, you know, the departure lane of the vehicle, uh, uh, every simulation time. The, uh, actually, these information will be generated every simulation time steps 
which we will define in the uh, configuration file. Now let's uh, here in the configuration file let's keep uh, some of those outputs and delete the others. For example, I'm gonna keep uh, this summary output and also this uh, trip information output and delete the other ones. Uh. As I said, you can learn about these outputs. Uh, I mean, you can use these outputs uh, based on your, you know, your model and your project. Uh, but for the sake of simplicity and as an example, I just keep these outputs. And also there are a couple of processing options and uh, time options, uh, which uh, I, I recommend you to leave them as a default value. So I'm going to delete them. Okay, but uh, here you need to specify uh, the simulation runtime, which starts at time zero. And I'm going to run the simulation for one hour or 3600 seconds. And uh, I'm going to specify this, the simulation step lengths for zero point five seconds which means that simulation outputs will be generated every 0 0.5 seconds and here let's uh, define our uh, input files well for the network file simply copy the name of your network network file with its uh, extension and paste it over here uh, in front of the value uh, similarly, for the root file and for the additionals, I'm going to copy their name and paste in front of uh, in the, in the value parameter, the additionals. And for the output file, we need to define a file name so that uh, the outputs will, will be generated in that file. So for example, I'm going to write summary underline out dot XML. And for the trip information output, I'm going to write trip out uh, out dot XML. OK, now let's save the configuration file and uh, open it and run the simulation. Uh, OK, you simply double click the configuration file and you can see that uh, the simulation will be loaded in the Sumo GUI. Uh, in order to run the simulation, simply mm, you can uh, press the play button over here. But as you can see, the vehicles are moving fast. So I gonna put the delay on 200 seconds so that I can see the vehicles and their performance. Uh, the simulation is for one hour. Uh, so let's make it fast uh, to see what happens. Okay, the simulation will be terminated after one hour. Plus, um, uh, you simply press the yes button over here so that the outputs will be saved over here okay uh, we have the summary out and the trip out as you can see let's open them and check some of its uh, parameters <coughs> uh, in the summary file as you can see the simulation uh, will generate these outputs every 0 0.5 seconds uh, let's check some of these parameters, I mean, review some of the parameters in the uh, Sumo documentation. For example, uh, you can find the information about uh, summary output from over here, simulation state statistics. Mm. Yeah, uh, as you can see, 
over here we have time loaded inserted and its definition can be found over here for example loaded means number of vehicles that were loaded from input files up to this time step or waiting means uh, number of vehicles which were waiting for insertion uh, to the network or we have duration which means the computation time for the simulation step in uh, milliseconds and uh, let's open the trip information output uh, and uh, <clears throat> in the trip information uh, you can see information about the vehicles this is vehicle uh, with ID V0 it shows its uh, departure time its departure lane departure position uh, departure speed uh, and so on and so forth and you can check out those parameters uh, from this output section over here trip information and you can check those uh, parameters uh, description from this table this is the end of the video uh, you've learned how to build a configuration file and uh, run a simulation based on the inputs and outputs that you've defined within the configuration file um, to wrap up, uh, in order to uh, run a simulation in Sumo, a traffic simulation in Sumo, you need to define separately the network file and the demand file, uh, as well as uh, some additional files as an input to the simulation, and also uh, specify your outputs uh, and uh, unify them in a single configuration file and run the simulation. As you saw, there are a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, various kinds of outputs that you can extract from Sumo, uh, depending on your research project, uh, you may, you know, uh, choose uh, the, uh, the specific kind of uh, output within the configuration file so please uh, read carefully the description about each of these outputs uh, uh, within the sumo documentation um, that's it uh, if you have any question please reach me out uh, via this email over here uh, okay wish you luck bye bye